Right then, again, we're on the road once again in Morris, the MG4. Slightly shorter task than uh, driving the Qatar. We are back on the road to Wrexham, ready for the friendly game tonight at the race course, Wales versus Gibraltar. Uh, looking forward to the game? Yeah, definitely. Long, long time since I've been up to Wrexham, so really looking forward to it. Looking forward to another trip through Mid Wales, beautiful Mid Wales, although I've got to say, I'm hoping it is always sunny in Wrexham because it's pretty miserable down here in Bridgend at the moment. Hopefully we leave this weather behind. So we've also got Lewis with us in the back, making a very brief appearance. Uh, so it is 25 past two now, we're on the M4. What's the plan of attack? So I'll plan to go up to uh, Mid Wales, yeah. stop off I think in Newtown, stretch our legs a little bit, possibly give Morris a little bit of a boost as well at that point, and then head up to Wrexham uh, well before the game. Perfect, so what are we on now charge-wise? So we're on 69% charge at the moment, which is an estimated 180 miles to that. So we could get to Wrexham just on that, but we want to play it safe. It feels weird to be passing the turn off for the Cardiff City Stadium. Yeah. Go into a Wales game, I don't know, it feels kind of strange. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it though, like I've been to Wrexham once, but never to, to watch a game at the race course, so have you ever been? I've been to the race course years and years ago. Yeah. It's late 90s for the last time. Back in the day then, the crowds were a fraction of what they are now. I can imagine, yeah. Well, that's true of Wales and Wrexham, I imagine. There's such a feel-good fact. I'm really, really looking forward to to being in there on a, on a match day. Uh, I think you know, it's a city now as well, isn't it? So there's a real buzz about the place. And it does feel like it is the sort of spiritual home of Welsh football, doesn't it, for so it is, many yeah. reasons. So I kind of knew that it would be pretty rubbish weather, that we wouldn't be able really to see the beauty of the Brecon Beacons. Right, so I have got a backup plan, right, which is a bit of a quiz. So, Wales last played at the race course in 2019, beat Trinidad and Tobago 1-0, Ben Woodburn. But, can you tell me, the game before that, who was Wales' opponent? New Zealand. No, it wasn't New Zealand. New, New Zealand was the one before again, there was one in the middle. Norway. Norway. Yes, way. Yeah. Hey. 3-0 win, right? Can you name, or how many, of the starting lineup? So I'll give you a clue, right? It was the 6th of February, 2008. We beat Norway 3-0. Yeah. Can you name the Wales starting 11 from that game? And another little clue, it was a friendly. So there are a few, I wouldn't say rogue, but it's probably not our strongest 11 in 2008, personally, I wouldn't say. Paul Jones. Paul Jones didn't start. Hennessy. Hennessy started. He would have been quite young in 2008. Defenders. Gabidon. Gabidon didn't start, no. Any clues to the defenders? One of them was sort of, I would say, a bit of a forgotten man from that era. So you do well to get his name, the centre half. The other centre half, almost like a bit of a cult figure with Welsh fans. Should have gone on to so many greater things, but injuries hampered him. Retired from internationals really, really young. I think he retired from football really young. And no cheating as well, no looking at my <laughs> I, I saw the eyes wander then, you know what I mean that. Quite a unique surname. What's the surname start with? N. Initials are L, N. Nyatanga. Nyatanga, they were Nyatanga. I'll give you the other centre half, right? It was Craig Morgan. So, left back, I'll give you another clue. More associated with being a right back, the, the cult hero of all Welsh cult heroes. If I do that, you gotta get it. Gunter. Gunter, yeah. On to the midfielders. Oh no, sorry, you haven't got the right back yet. So Gunter played left back, you haven't got the right back yet. Ricketts. Sam Ricketts, yeah. Ledley. Ledley played on the left, yeah. Oh, I'm assuming he did, he had number 11. <laughs> um, right, I'll give you another clue. This is like a double bonus bumper clue, right? 
two centre midfielders, both got the same name. First name. Same first name. Fir same first name. They were known as the two. Uh, a bit like the two Ronnies. <laughs> Struggling here, guys. I know. I'll be honest. I am. I think back to players in 2008. What were you doing in 2008? What was I doing in 2008? Not I watching Wales, obviously. <laughs> 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 I had just started comp. No. Uh, I was just in my last year of primary school in February 2008. Does that make you feel old? Yeah, I did. I graduated the year before. Oh, nice. They were known as the two Carls. Carl Fletcher. Yeah. Carl Robinson. Yes, now we're going. Right, you've got two more to get. The one striker, or lone striker, and then this guy probably played as like a number 10, attacking midfielder slash forward. Scored two goals against Norway on the night. West Brom, Wigan Athletic. Kumas. Kumas. And then, I mean, this one, I'd be amazed if you, well, not amazed, but very surprised Maybe. given your form so far. Striker, not one of the bigger names. So it wouldn't have been Ernie or? No, Ernie was a, an unused sub. I did look at it. <laughs> I promise. Who did he play for? Like, South End, I think. Oh, um. Yeah, you know it. You know it. He was involved with West Ham for a bit as well, I think. I think. You give up? Yeah, well, it I was Freddie it. Eastwood. Eastwood, that's it. Tying back to the MG4, can you tell me, right, how much a litre of petrol on average in the UK was in February 08? Bearing in mind it's something stupid like 156p or something now, isn't it? I want to say. 88 pence. No, you bit off. It was 104p. And that's actually a spike, so that would have actually been a spike. I look back, just before it kind of spiked up in uh, the end of 2007, it was 95.2p a litre, but 14.97 pence per kilowatt hour is the average off-peak rate for, uh, I believe it's octopus energy, so that's the sort of UK average. So this is uh, the 61 kilowatt hour version of the MG4. So how much off the top of your head without doing too many maths 61 kilowatt hours times 14.97p how much would it cost to charge it from 0 to 100 at that rate at that rate roughly £8.50 yeah we're not far off £9.50 can you imagine getting from south to north wales for under a tenner no oh. petrol price is that now nah. right then just flying past the wreck and bypass are we looking for charge so we're probably 50% now. Oh, not too bad. So not too bad. Yeah, we've been on the road for about an hour as well, which is quite quite a nice halfway point. Yeah. Not far away from Newtown now, so we'll have a little uh, switch through there. That sign there was 26 miles to Newtown. We've got 73 miles of range left, so quick top up in Newtown. I'll probably use the facilities as well. Ideal. How long do you reckon it'll take us to, if the rapid's available? Because I know they've got rapid charges in yeah. Tesco, haven't they? How long do you reckon it'll take us to get to uh, an acceptable amount of charge? Yeah. So I think 15 minutes will probably give us another 20 cent. 20 to 30 cent charge, isn't it? Yeah. And here we come into Newtown Tesco. It looks like the rapid charger may be free, so we're, we're on to a winner. So we're on 21 now. Let's see where we are in about 10 minutes or so. Perfect, let's pop inside, get something to eat. What have we gone for? Spicy chicken. Nice. Pasta, apple and strawberries, because I'm trying to be really healthy. Water, water. Very nice. Tuna sandwich and prawn cocktail crisps. So grab some chewing gums as well, otherwise my breath is going to be crazy. Hello. There we are then, 11 minutes in. Had to do a little bit of stopping and starting, but 8.5 kilowatts in the end, up to 53% and uh, ready to go up to Wrexham. Time for me to do my leg of the journey. So a little bit of a swap now. 
and it's having to drive for the next part of the journey. Feeling nice and refreshed because I think I needed to stop in Newtown more than the car to be honest. Mm -hmm. Cross legged a bit coming into Newtown but back on the road. Morris had a bit of a top up, back up to 53% charge now. 44 miles to go to Wrexham. Here we are boys at the race course. Finally arrived. 36% charge left currently. Time to find somewhere to park. 